the RCMP in Saskatchewan are trying something new. It's a pilot project that puts psychiatric nurses in their call centre. The force says it will better help people in mental crisis and the frontline officers who often don't have the expertise to deal with them. Bonnie Allen is on this story for us live from Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. So, Bonnie, this is a first-of-its-kind in Canada approach. How does it work? Well, this program is modeled after the system in the United Kingdom, where police are not expected to be the first or only response to mental health calls. So essentially how it's working is that the RCMP in Saskatchewan has contracted psychiatric nurses from the Saskatchewan Health Authority and embedded them in the emergency call center. And these nurses are taking 911 calls from people who are in mental distress, and the nurses have access to their medical records. So they can provide that medical response rather than a police response. The other thing the nurses can do is coach RCMP officers who are heading out to these, these mental health calls. This is what Sergeant Burden Jones says about that. A member can get on this and can actually phone that, that psychiatric nurse even before they deal with the person in crisis to say, listen, this is what I'm going to, this is what I think I have. What can I do? And that, that nurse can even tell the member, you know what, he, he, sometimes these are triggers, sometimes there's there's things like this you can try to do so that it can de-escalate the situ situation more efficiently. So there's that part of it. And then once they get there and the scene's safe, then the, the nurse actually talks to um, the person in crisis right there on, on scene. So... So the nurses have been on the job since May 31st, and Sergeant Jones says the initial 50 calls showed promising results. In 17 occasions, the police did not have to apprehend the person under the Mental Health Act, take them to the hospital, sit for hours in the ER waiting for help, which Jones says is not an efficient use of police resources. So those individuals received more of a medical response again rather than a police response. And, and what's the community reaction been like, Bonnie? Well, the Canadian Mental Health Association is applauding this as an excellent step forward. I also spoke to Kerry Rigby Wilcox, whose son Stephen was shot and killed by police two years ago. Now, he struggled with alcoholism, anxiety and depression, and he was also had thoughts about provoking police to shoot him. And Rigby Wilcox says that if there had been a psychiatric nurse in the call center the night she called 911 who had access to his medical records and who could perhaps guide police, perhaps that would have made a difference. But as it stands, she has regrets about calling 911 that night. You know, I did call 911 to get help to keep my son alive. And in the end, that didn't happen. And so my blame is on myself. And I feel like because I made that 911 call, I initially killed my son. So there are two psychiatric nurses in the call centre at this point. The RCMP and Health Authority have to hire two more to be able to provide the service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as I said, it's a one-year pilot project that they will evaluate to see whether they can continue it or expand it. Bonnie, thank you. The CBC's Bonnie Allen in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.